Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at 20 tips and tricks for the Google Pixel 6. Stay locked in with me. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be doing a tips and tricks video for the Google Pixel 6. And this will relate to the 6 Pro, the 6A, and maybe even some of the 5A devices as well. But if you're brand new to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through if you're new to the crew. But um, if you're already a part of the crew, salute. So let's just jump into the video. We're going to jump into the first tip and trick. But, um, you know, what I'm saying I just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can beat the YouTube algorithm and get this video out to a lot more people. So every single like helps the channel and the video actually perform. So let's just jump into the first tip. And this tip is going to be pretty cool because if you go up on your app drawer and then you just hit the dot right here on the corner, it's going to have this button that says always show your keyboard. So if you actually um, swipe up now it's going to pop up and show the keyboard so now you can pretty much search for anything you want on here like the calculator or you know what i'm saying the calendar right there or you could do reminder new reminder so anything that you pretty much search for when you pull up you know what i'm saying it's going to actually show the keyboard right away so if you if you want the keyboard to be there it will be but if you start swiping, it's gonna disappear automatically anyway. So I just think that's a pretty cool feature and this device is extremely smooth and fluent. But let's just jump into the second feature on the Google Pixel 6. And this is gonna be the uh, one where it has the pocket operator, right? For the Pixel devices. So if you go into the Play Store right here, it's gonna give you the option for the pocket operator strictly for all Pixel devices. and. Basically what this is, is it makes it allows you to make beats and music and stuff like that based on your video. So basically if you go to about, it's going to basically say create video beats by sampling your surroundings with the device camera. Create, export, and share weird and wonderful music and cut and video cut ups. POC operators are small ultra portable music devices made by teenage engineers. Google and teenage engineers have teamed up to bring the pocket operator concept to Pixel devices using the Pixel phone. Your video camera is, is a sampling tool utilizing the, the Tensor chip leading to analyze the category of samples. You can create your own drum, sample kits, and things around you wherever you are. Play and mix live and record and step by step using your, record, your recorded video clips. And you can have up to four tracks across 16 different patterns to compose full songs and video and sample videos with 16 visual audio visual effects. So I'm going to actually play around with this because I haven't messed around with it, but I saw that they were advertising this. So I definitely thought this is going to be pretty cool for the Pixel devices. So I'm going to install that and then jump into the next tip. We'll play around with that and probably in another video or something, but let me know if you played around with it yet. All right, but just comment down below and just type, I'm still here if you made it this far for the third tip. We're gonna jump into the, um, you know what I'm saying, the, the third tip right now, which is coming up and this is gonna be search for widgets. So it, it's easy to search for widgets on your Google Pixel 6 device because all you have to do is like, go to a screen right here with an empty spot in it, hit the widgets icon, and then they have this search button right here. So you can search wallpaper. In this case, I have something like another wallpaper app, which I'm gonna get into later in the video. You could do a recorder. Uh, it doesn't have any shortcuts for that, but you could do Spotify. You could do um, weather and pretty much any widget you want to search for, it'll bring it up on the phone really quickly. So I like the fact that it does have that search icon so you can gain access to your widgets on your, your Pixel device really quickly and just add those to your home screen. You feel me? So you feel what I'm saying? So we're gonna jump into the fourth tip. And this is basically if you receive a message in a whole nother language, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna execute this right now so you, you can see what I'm saying. So if you actually receive a, a message from some another language, 
right here, this option right here, which says translate to English will automatically pop up on the text message. So you could just hit that button and it says it's Japanese to English. So you just go ahead and hit live translate and it's gonna start downloading the live translate um, portion, which will allow you to basically, uh, you know, text message people in other, in other languages, which is pretty crazy. So it's basically saying, love you or I love you in Japanese. So that's what that meant. This, this Japanese writing or whatever down here below. When I translate to English that says love you. So I think that's pretty sick that it has an automatic translation tool on the Google Pixel 6 for your device. So the next feature we're going to jump into is how to save tracks with the now playing feature. And this is going to be pretty solid because if you don't know how to get to your now playing feature, all you would have to do is go to settings, go to sounds, then go down and then hit this button right here, which is going to, you're going to turn this one on. And I had that off when I, cause I, I had just got this thing back in the, the, um, the house or whatever. So you could turn that on. And basically once you turn that on, it shows the name of artists and so songs playing nearby. And then it says right here, show search button on lock screen so that if it doesn't identify a song, you could just hit that and then it's going to actually allow you to basically um, hit that on your lock screen and then you can basically get the song. So you hit here and you can get to your all your, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like you could add this to your home screen if you click that option. So just add to home screen. So you now you have that widget. Then you get these three things right here, which will allow you to remove all or add to the home screen. So I, I really like that part, but the, the great part is that you can actually create playlists now. So you can long hold on different songs that you were listening to. And then just, you know what I'm saying? Um, once you do that, you can hit this button right here, which is like six multiple tracks. And then it says add to a playlist. So once you hit that, it says you got to sign into your, 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 your YouTube, um, you know what I'm saying? Um, music, which I don't use, I use Spotify or whatever, but you still can listen to these, you know what I'm saying? Cause you could add, you know, favorites, uh, by hitting the heart button on these and you can actually get different favorites here. So I think that's something that's pretty cool. It'll allow you to play the tracks and have them, you know what I'm saying? If you hit one of these, you could open it up in Spotify or something like that. And then the song will automatically start playing. So I think that's really sick to actually get to music when you're on the fly and you want to use utilize your music uh, identification tool on the Pixel 6 with the Tensor chip. So the next feature we're going to be jumping into, and this is... Uh, basically uh, number seven and this is how to open the google maps with um the walk mode so basically what you would have to do to get the live view you basically would open up the google maps right here on your device and then after you open that up you're going to actually search for a location and you're going to choose the select directions and select the walking mode and then tap the live view feature so I guess you got to be outside. I'm actually inside, so it's not working right now, but it basically lets you see your surroundings and the map at the exact same time. And then you could pretty much just navigate with that um, while you're walking. So I think that's something that's really interactive, really intuitive, um, really sweet on this Google Pixel device. But let me know down below in the comment section if you think that's a sick feature. I definitely think it's pretty helpful, okay? So let's just jump into the next feature and this is gonna be basically how to get the, the Google um, battery widget, which is something that I really enjoy having on this Pixel device. So I'm gonna hit an empty space on the device, hit widgets and then go down where it says battery and you're gonna be able to get the... All right guys, so I really like this Google widget uh, battery icon widget because it actually, when you resize it, and put it on different parts of the colors on your screen, it's gonna change to the color that it's basically over. So if I put it up here, it's gonna be like the dark blue, drag it down, you can see it's changing colors to match the background of the phone, um, which is kind of cool. So if I put it over here, it might turn purple. Up here, it's gonna turn blue. If I put it up here, it's gonna change to a different color. So I really like this thing. You could, you could make it resizable to your own personal preference. 
but I really think this is going to be helpful when you're trying to gauge the battery on your Pixel Buds. And um, basically, you want to see the battery percentage on the left and right ear at the exact same time, right? So I think that's a really clutch feature. So let's just jump into the next feature. And this feature is really cool. It has to do with the alarm. So one of the things that you, and basically phone calls. So let's say you're receiving a phone call. So what I'm gonna actually do is dial this phone number. Right now I'm gonna dial the Pixel um, phone, this phone right, right here that I'm holding in my hand. So just give me a second to dial that. So this device has something in it called quick phrases. And in order to get to this, you have to go into, you, you basically can um, turn on your assistant setting right here. So just click right here where it says quick phrases. So you could just type in your search bar quick uh, phrases right here and then hit that real quick and then turn on alarms and answering phone calls. Just turn that on. So what I'm gonna do is dial the phone and you could reject phone calls real quick. Let me show you what I'm talking about right now. So the phone is gonna ring in a second, okay? Decline. So then the phone call automatically like hangs up. And then if I redial it, I could have it say, I could say answer, watch. Answer. So now it's attached to my earbuds and you could even do that with alarms too. So I thought that was a really, really solid feature for somebody who is like, doesn't want to touch the button. It's just ringing on your desk and you want to pick up or hang up. You could easily get to that. So I really like that feature as well. So we're going to jump into the next tip and this is going to show you how to use your Google Assist your Assistant um, to type. So basically, if you're using the text messaging right here, all you have to do is hit this button and tap right here. And you could tap the microphone right on the keyboard right here. So you just hit only this time. Hey, what's going on? What's up with you? How's everything going? How was your day? What's new? Did the Knicks win today? And you can see it's really, really efficient when it comes to texting and typing with your voice. So I just think that feature is really clutch. If you're the type of person who just wants to use your voice to make text messages, or you could even do the audio text right here. You could just long hold here and be like, yo, what's going on? How's your day going? And then you could do like a voice note and it's gonna basically talk to the person with your voice and that they could just press the play button and hear your voice. So I think that's another really cool feature, okay? So the next feature that I wanna talk about is basically the one where it allows you to install Google Podcasts. And this, this is built for the Google Pixel devices. So you wanna type Google Podcast. And you just wanna go ahead and um, install this one because it's gonna have like a, a ton, a boatload of podcasts that are available at your own convenience for free. The Daily, This American Life, NBC, um, all, all the top ones in your, 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 your area. And you could basically search for ones like um, Joe Rogan. I know that's a big one. Boom. He's got his own podcast. You could search for, I don't know, Dollar, Creflo. I know Creflo got his own podcast probably. Let me see, Dollar. Yeah, you, he's got one right here. So, you know, any podcast you want to, you're going to gain access to like thousands, hundreds and thousands of podcasts at your own fingertips. So that's the, the, uh, that's the sixth feature that I want to talk about. Let's jump into the seventh feature. But if you're still here, comment down below and leave hashtags. Let me know if you're still kicking it with me. We're going to jump to the sixth feature. So this is basically the smart, fe um, smart feature. So the way this feature works is if you're typing, you could swipe across on the space bar for it to actually finish your sentence. So you could say, happy birthday. You saw, you saw how it came up with the birthday part. You just you hold this and you swipe across. Happy birthday. Um, happy New Year's. You know what I'm saying? But like it's going to finish your sentences and stuff like that. Um, 
So it's not gonna always give you an option there, but when you see the gray area on this keyboard, you just swipe across with the space bar, you hold it and you swipe across, and it's gonna complete your sentences for you while you're typing. So that's still a feature that they're working on or whatever, but I think that's a nice feature to have on here as well. Now this one is, this next feature is really, really crazy because this is really solid. It's inside of auto rotate. So you want to activate this because if you activate auto rotate, what it'll do is you can use your device in this way, like on the side way or the, this way, but you can't do it like within the home screen option, right? But one of the things about this device, see this, this was where it gives you the features like allow home screen auto rotate. So now when you, when you do do that, now you can do it, right? But one of the things is that when you're laying down and you just have the phone like slightly twisted, sometimes it rotates and you don't want it to twist or whatever. So basically what you want to do is go to auto rotate, long hold that, and then enable face. So the face detection uses the front facing camera to improve auto rotate accuracy. Images are never stored or sent to Google. So basically when you enable that, the phone will know like if you're based on the camera, it's gonna see your face and it'll actually rotate based on like the way, what, what direction your face is, is actually positioned so that it won't twist when you don't want it to. So. I really like that feature. I really like the fact that they implemented that feature on the Google Pixel 6, right? So that's just another solid feature with this device. So the next feature we're gonna jump into is Extreme Battery Saver. And this basically just makes your phone last a lot longer. So this is probably built in right here on the panel right here. If you don't see it um, on this panel, you could always go into more options, right? But you know what I'm saying? You basically just go up right here where it says um, battery you could just type it in and click battery and then you want to if you want to make your phone last just a little bit longer throughout the day you could turn on the battery saver and it has this extreme battery saver mode right here so it'll only it ex, it'll extend your battery battery further in critical moments extreme battery saver pauses most apps and notifications select your most essential app so you don't miss an important notification or message so you're still um, gonna be able to choose which apps that you wanna use, like obviously the phone or whatever, obviously text messaging apps, but you could pretty much choose the ones you wanna use at that very moment. And it's gonna get you through the rest of the day with the, batter the extreme battery saver and then optimize your phone to a, a new level. So I just, I, just, I just really like that feature, okay? But the... That, that's the, you know what I'm saying, the 15th feature, feature. We're gonna jump into the 16th feature, which is the game optimization mode, okay? So there's this thing basically built into this device where it allows you to optimize the uh, phone's games. So basically swipe up. Let's find it, we could find everything here. So G game, um, you know what I'm saying, I'm looking for it right now. Optimize the game, you hit this button right here, boom. So this is the game optimizer and you can choose higher performance or longer battery life. Your settings is saved for the next time you play that game or whatever. So basically what you would do, you can see right here is showing us optimized performance. As So this is a solid feature that you could use. Uh, you open the game dashboard. So let's, let's look for that right here, game dashboard. Here it is. So we're basically gonna select this right here, game dashboard floating icon, show all, show the icon in all games swiping up or down. Do not disturb for games so you don't get notified when you're playing games. But once you have that feature on and for the game dashboard, you can op optimize your game performance with this device. So I think that's gonna be something that's pretty solid. Um, with this phone. So let, let me just show you how you get there. But basically you would just type game uh, that dashboard right here. And it says right here, game settings right here, boom. And so now if you, if you click there, you can actually optimize the game or whatever. So when you open up the game, you're gonna see like a little remote controller. And then basically it's gonna ha give you the option to you know, have the floating icon there as well. 
you could do not disturb and you could just optimize games for your own personal preference so I, I think that's another cool feature I haven't played around with it but I still think it's a pretty sick feature that they have on the Google Pixel 6 okay so we're gonna jump into something called which is the gesture mode on this device which allows you to swipe between apps really quickly inside of the gesture mode so if you don't have the gesture mode on I would highly recommend it because it's gonna give you that quick swiping feature where you can swipe between apps really quickly as you can see like I'm doing right now. So that feature comes in clutch when you're trying to just multitask through the device or whatever. So um, the, la the, the next to last feature we're gonna be talking about is how to copy an image or text from any screen on your phone. So let's say you're searching for, um, you know, RIP uh, to Bill Russell, one of the most incredibly gifted players in the NBA. He, I think he just recently passed, so I want to send my condolences to him and his family or whatever, but let's just say I want to um, use his, his, his picture as a wallpaper. You could swipe up right here and you can actually do a screenshot. So you could hit this button, that's the share button. But if I go right here, and then, you know, I, I hit select right there. I could select this thing right here. And then I could I could save that. Say I hit the save button so now I could open it. And now I have the picture right there on my phone. You can pretty much do that with images or text on your Google Pixel 6, 6a, uh, 4a, um, 5a, 5, whatever. Whatever you're messing around with. But the next feature that I want to talk about is something that's really cool. This is how I customize my wallpapers daily. Is this this app right here that you want to download. And it's going to be called... Let me see. So I can see how this, this thing gets in the way. Some people might want to remove that. But you want to download this app right here called Wall Candy from the Play Store. So you just go ahead into the Play Store and type Wall Candy right here. And then you can see right here it has an update. So they have a new update for this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that because this thing is really, really good. So this is a nice wallpaper app, but one of the things is that it does give you widgets for this wallpaper app. So you wanna go right here and click widgets and scroll down till you see the wall candy app widget right there. And as you're gonna see a lightning bolt and I already have it downloaded to my phone. So right here, it's a, right here, I can move it around. I'm gonna put it right there. But when you touch that icon, it will actually change your wallpaper to a new one every single time. So let me just change it to something that I do not that I do want to mess around with. And it takes about, you know, 10, 15 seconds to load. This is a, this is a pretty cool one. You can see now my widget colors changed as well with it. Let's choose something else just so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is like a really cool app because all you have to do is hit that little lightning bolt and then it gives you like a new wallpaper and it changes all the icons surrounding it and stuff like that. And if you didn't like the, the, the colors that it did select for that wallpaper, you could go ahead and long hold the screen one more time. Let me just wait for it to load. So you can see right here and I got the blue one. I could long hold this get to the wallpaper style right here and then I could customize the colors right here to basic colors or the ones that they have recommended but obviously in Android 13 they're going to give you a ton more of options to choose from so I think that's an, another solid feature but the last feature that I wanted to talk about is the fact that this thing does have a QR code scanner built right into it Okay, so I just it pulls it up you just got to have patience and then you can basically use this as a QR code scanner with your phone built right in it has the QR code scanner so those are the 20 tips and tricks that I want to share with you for the Google Pixel 6 let me know if this was informative helpful or useful to you in any way possible but if you made it to the end of the video just type I'm still here down below so I know you're still kicking it with me and I just want to remind you to hit the like button you know what I'm saying? So we can beat the YouTube algorithm. But um, I'm going to get right back with you. I'm going to show up in the comment section. And I'm going to answer all your questions right away. So make sure you, you know what I'm saying, you stay locked in for more videos. Hit a video over here or on the right of me. 
as well because there's going to be a lot more videos for you to watch right after this video ends but in the meantime have a great morning afternoon evening and depending on where you are have a great night later crew peace Thank you.